folks, it is Monday before the rod run, and some of the rods are already here. A lot of folks are setting up for this long week and a crazy weekend we're gonna have here in Pigeon Forge. Go rod run. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. It's gonna be a really good week for the rod run. They're projecting temperatures in the upper 70s, you know, kind of going into the 80s, and uh, no rain. So it's gonna be a great rod run week. And if you're coming to Pigeon Forge, pack your patience. Of course, there's a lot of cruising gonna be going on this weekend. Yep. And we're roughly about five days away from all the the crazy chaos. But the rods are here now. They are here. It's Monday morning and the rods have already started to arrive. They even have some projects you take home and make them shine again. Oh wow, look at this 1970 Chevelle. Very, very nice. Couple really good rods that have already come in. There's this really nice Camaro over here. Yeah, they went 60,000. I'm not sure what year that is, but very, very, very nice. It's got a 396 in her. An old Chevy here. Very, very clean. Oh yeah, I love it. And a 48, a 48 Buick Roadmaster with a 454 in it. And it's got a vintage heat and air. Probably an option for 48. 32,500, that'd be a, a cool cruiser. It's convertible too. It's got a 55 Bel Air with a V8, four speed. They want 55,500 or best offer. Now, a lot of these prices are negotiable. So, you know, very, very nice too. I mean, just these things are perfect. I mean, check out the interior. Oh, it reminds me of my dad's 56 Chevy. Uh, this same color scheme, a little bit lighter. I think the paint was a little bit different, but it had the white top and then it had like a little bit lighter, like a baby blue. The back seat looks awful small. Well, you know, look at the, oh uh, yeah. But very, very, very nice. Oh, here's a 36 Ford with a 350. They want 42,000 for that pickup. Yeah, so this is a Pontiac Super Chief. Uh, it's a 57, is what it says. I'm not familiar with them, but uh, they want uh, 36,000, which seems to be price decent. And it's very, very sharp, very shiny. You know, it's an amazing paint job on her. Looks like she's in her, pretty much her original shape. It's got that old uh, Delco. Um, generator on her very very nice yeah, i love that chrome yeah it's got a 57 plate on her yeah, so here's another 55 chevy but take a look at the at the engine here wow that's very original now these cars here are really well put together the paint is just just amazing on it 56,000 or best offer. Uh. Oh, wow. Look at that dash. You know, they don't make them like that anymore. That's, that's, this is a very, very nice 55. I wouldn't mind having either one of those 255s at all. And not everything's a classic. They got some really cool modern day rides down here. 22,500 for that that Camaro she's sharp also and a 56 Chevy same year as my dad's uh, it's got the 350 in it I think my dad had also the same they want 63,500 and she's a beauty I mean look at the paint just shine Wow so it's got a little more of a modern-day interior in it which 
doesn't appeal to me. Yet again, it has that classic dash, though. I see some rides I want. <laughs> I've seen a newer one go by and I'd like it. That 155 back there, I really, I really liked it. You know what I mean? It wasn't over custom. It was, you know, pretty much original. I like that one. Okay, let's go see what other rides are here. They're slowly coming in, and by the end of the week, this whole grassy area will be nothing but cars bumper to bumper, all the way down the parkway, on both sides of the road. I would say about 10% of the cars are already here, and I think it's going to be a big one because the weather is supposed to be so good. Yeah, last year was yeah, it was raining last yeah. year. If we flew in from Las Vegas last year for the rod run, it was just raining. Remember, it was kind of rainy and, and cold. Oh, here's a cool little Firehawk. I think it's like a 99 or a 2000. Yeah, this one here is a 99. It's got 38,000 original miles. They want 28,900. And this car was pretty hot back when I was just a little bit younger. Yeah, it's got T-tops. This is a 1969 Camaro RS-SS. It's an Indy Pace car. It's a true Z11. And we all see these models like in the stores or like little Hot Wheels cars of this one. Pretty cool. Yeah, May the 30th of 1969. You know, if there is any uh, more of these, there's not many of them. And she, she's a pretty one, she really is. Check out that, that interior. Wow, that's definitely screams that, that early 70s, doesn't it? Uh, she's, a, she's amazing. Yeah, it is super clean all the way around. Very nice paint on it. It's got those, those rally rims on there. Just super super nice yeah there's just some of the little hot wheels they've made of that car i think every boy little boy back in the early 70s wanted one of these you know and uh she's clean and it's got a 350 in her very well done so the interior is called orange hound's tooth I never knew that. So the interior did have a name. Oh, did it? What was yeah. it? Yeah. It's called Orange Houndstooth. Houndstooth? Yep. Yeah. Dover White Hugger Orange Stripes. Oh, it does. It's a beautiful day here in the Smokies. The sun's shining. The weather is perfect. Check out this Biscayne. Wow. Now that's a lot of, a lot of engine there. So Dawn, I found a little Jeep for you. An old postal Jeep. It's cute. Yeah, it's called Jeep Garage. 24-7. Yeah, it's an old, it's an old postal Jeep. Yeah, the doors still open. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. You don't see a lot of them old postal Jeeps anymore. No. No. And right next to that postal Jeep is this little dune buggy here. A little a little Volkswagen. Yeah. Dawn was looking on the inside and she says it's for sale. They want 14000 It's a yep. 69 Volkswagen Custom for $14,000 or best offer. It's five on the floor. It's got the front and back seat, and I don't know which one out this. Probably it's a back seat in the back, but um, it has speakers in it. I didn't know this Volkswagen has an OnlyFans. Uh oh. Uh oh. I bet you it gets kind of, uh, you know. That's <laughs> Here 
you never know what you'll find out here on the strip very unique vehicles some of them are one of a kinds custom some are just classics <laughs> yeah you're starting to become a classic aren't you <laughs> yeah, Don will be 50 years old at the end of the month oh wow look at this S10 over here Don yeah, it's a 91 it's got the 4.3 in her they want 11,500 and it says it has original paint and original miles on her an 86 Silverado 24,900 so it's got factory air it can drive anywhere everybody gets to go in this contraption <laughs> yeah you get wow there's even a a rat's nest oh wow the birds <laughs> a bird's nest inside this i think it's a it's a it's a pickup truck it's a ram what pickup the heck? even in yeah. the back seat you got a bench yeah they well, there's a grill they have a grill so these guys made in the shade with this one so these guys are ready to party here aren't they they're gonna party down pretty hard in about three more days every single parking space will be had by a classic car all the way down and as you can see a lot of them are already coming in like i said about 10 percent of them are here tomorrow will probably be about 20. come wednesday which we call unloading day that's when you get a lot of them coming in and by Thursday, it's pretty much full. Yeah. In fact, by the way, that's a really nice 1971 El Camino there. It's got a 383 in it. Very nice 69 Ford Fairlane. It's got a 302 in her. And over here is the quiet before the storm. And this is a very popular area during the rod run. Mostly because of the gas station here at Jimmy's Market. And as you can see, there's a couple here, but they're 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 coming in. So there's plenty of 55, 56s, and 57s here already. Every color you could imagine. Well, there goes the old Duke boys now. Lot of activity over here at the Willowbrook Lodge we talked to a real nice couple from Canada that watch us and they've been coming down here for like I think they said the last 11 years well, this one here has got suicide doors it's an old C10 what do you do have to roll? <laughs> well I mean Oh my gosh, it's a little Datsun Z. It's got a 350 in her. Oh, wow. You don't see many of these. This 1929 Model A rat rod. And these are very popular, more and more now than they ever have. And it's all slammed down, chopped. Yeah, definitely a cruiser. It's got that skull for a, for a shifter. This one's called Trade Tech Trading Company. And you see a lot of these, these rods, don't you? They're all slammed, looking pretty. Well, 
very sharp Nova. And this is becoming a hot spot here on the strip during the runs here at the Holiday Inn. And there's already, they're already here at the Holiday Inn. They're almost to full capacity. Check out this Chevelle, Dawn. Wow, she's a convertible. She's nice. Yeah, she is very pretty. It's a 454, at least that's what it says it has. Yeah. I'm not sure what year it is. It's a 71. 71 Chevelle. Yeah. A really sharp 70 Nova. They want 35,000 for it. So here's a 1983 Buick Regal T-Type. Pretty cool. Uh, it's got 56,000 original miles and they want 19,500. It's kind of like the like a Grand National, but the Buick version, the, the Regal version of it. I love these old road runners. This one's a 68 and she is sharp. Very, very sharp. It's got a 383. Uh, 55,000. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, very, very sharp. So that there is a 71 Cuda clone. Yeah, it's not the real thing, but if you want something close, I want 55,000 for it. I don't know, Monty SS. I had a 1986 SS with T-tops, burgundy. I got a 47 Ford for 24,500. You also have a 1970 GMC ice cold air for 36,500. This truck here looks just like my friend Neil's truck back in high school. It's an old Silverado. I was just talking about this the other night on a live stream. It's identical to it, except for it sits a little higher than his. But wow, that brings back some memories. It does. It is for sale. You got to call Roy. I don't know what Roy is look, asking for it, but she's in really good shape. Short box. Very, very pretty. You know, old Silverado. Everybody's gone surfing. Surfing USA. Here's a 74 Nova for 19500 also in very good shape check out the the interior in there <laughs> yeah, hot heat cold AC Check out this diesel rat rod. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you see more and more of these. Of course, you got like a Pro Street Dragster Nova over there. Yeah, they pretty much got a little bit of everything. Wow, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. But this is a Ford LTD2. It has like the stripe kit. It's got its original paint, of course. It is original, so it needs a little, could be a little fixer upper, but that's yeah, a 1978, year I was born. 
a 66 Ford F100, a 59 Ford Galaxy 500. It's a four-door great cruiser, it says. They got one of these Venturas, Pontiac Venturas, 76. It's got a V8 in it. 57,000 original miles. And he got one of these little Corvairs. <laughs> so this one here could be a little cruiser. It's a 66 Chevelle. And it's only got the, the 230 straight six in it. But it's $16,000. If you just wanted something to kind of cruise around in, give her a little paint. I mean, you could put a bigger motor in her, you know what I mean? Kind of make her, you know. It's different seeing the Smoky Mountain candy makers no longer there, no longer in the building. They have left the building. It's been there for as long as I can remember. I think I found a replacement for the Jeep, Don. You can do some rock crawling in that one. You won't get stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck in anything in here. Oh, crazy Malibu here. Oh, she is, she's a sweet one. Yeah, 1973 Malibu. This is a 66 Chevelle. They want $60,000 for it. Got a 396 in her. American racing rims in it. And if you're in the south, you need the Hillbilly Patrol in your neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are ready to to take a, take the law in their own hands, right? Yep. And I bet you it's a good time at that. But it's a really cool rat rod, you know? It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice nice ride. Yeah, so a 1971 C10 short bed. It's got a 572 in her. That's a lot of motor for that Cheyenne. I bet you it's really fun, fun to drive. And here comes the Pigeon Forge Fire Department. So I've been seeing you eye a certain vehicle in this area. Yep, and it's it. it's right over there. It's a one of those Volkswagen buses. Yeah. It's a Volkswagen bus over here. <laughs> oh wow, so it's all set up for camping, Don. So you you can you can go cross country on this and do a little. Yeah. This turns into a bed. Oh well, it's a five on the floor. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's a Volkswagen camper. It's got the uh, the uh, moonroof or the uh, camper top. A lot of these pop up too, so you can stand up in them. I'm not sure if this one does, but. Oh, you can't see in the back. It's got yeah. But it's a camper. She's a. Yeah, it's got a... Hey, we could be cruising across the country in this. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's clean cut. It's a five on the floor. We can drive that. Yeah. We, we could be hippies. Yeah. We can become hippies. We can be all about love and <laughs> and grass and cows and and, and peace, right? Peace of air Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. this I call... This area always has the best rides for sale. Of course, I think it's a dealer that deals in... And top of the line classics, but yeah, I know you really like that Volkswagen. I know the wheel. I know the wheels have been turning in your head about it. You're thinking, hmm, cross country, and that, and that. Oh, here's a Boss 302. It's got the shaker hood scoop it on her. Wow. Yeah. Don, you always find the most interesting vehicles. It's Cushman. It's a 1995. I didn't know that they still made these Cushman. I mean, I knew they make them. Look inside. Yeah. It's like this, it's a 
it's just one, one person. Well, you know, single and staying that way. Yeah. But you know the reason why they made these? They're they're made for factories. They run oh. parts back and forth. Yeah. How many miles per hour do you think? It can uh, be? maybe twenty. <laughs> Can you <laughs> Maybe. Done? Pretty much it's like a motorcycle away. Here's one for all those Bronco guys out there. Of course, they're more popular than ever, seeing that Ford has the new Bronco out. What do you think about that one? It's cool. Look at that. Oh. It's got the little buttons inside. <laughs> yeah, it's got the old levers for the air conditioning and heat and that, yeah. Don found the slam down postal jeep <laughs> so it's a rat rod slash postal jeep it's low priority <laughs> uh, uh, oh pit helmet yeah so it's it's a um, right hand drive one too the one across the street was uh you know was a left hand drive It, the old mail trucks, right? I remember those. Another one of the hot spots here on the parkway is the Mountain Breeze Motel. And yet again, this whole grass area will be bumper to bumper, door to door, with crazy cr classics. Say that a few times, crazy classics, crazy classics. But they're coming. There's a few already here, starting to fill up a little bit. This is a really good way of gauging how the rod run is doing. Uh, 2006 Viper SRT. It's got 700 horsepower. They want 50,000 or best offer. I remember when these came out. I think they even had like a Shelby version or an older version of it that was a Shelby. Check out the paint scheme on this Nova. It's kind of got like that evil Knievel. I don't know. It's wow. I like it. You can even see the the stars fading. Uh, it's all pinstriped up and pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of yeah. It's different. Twenty-six thousand five hundred or best offer. Right, here's a 1978 Camaro, factory four-speed, cold air, seventeen thousand five hundred. So if you are coming down to the rod run, parking is a big problem. If you don't already have it arranged, it could be nearly impossible come Friday and Saturday. Prepare to walk, prepare to be stuck in traffic up to hours at a time. And if you're a spectator, you'll have the same problems. Traffic and trying to find parking. Give yourself some time, right? Now we're over here by Professor Hackers, and uh, yeah, starting to look pretty good. Check out this nomad. <laughs> it's all blowing and So we have the big shiny mining company. We find gold in every nook and cranny. <laughs> it's an old panel panel wagon here, an old delivery truck. A very patriotic GMC. That's a nice old tow truck. Yeah, stick them and grease them. Auto sales. <laughs> Stick them and grease them, right? You found Big Red. Yep, you can't see inside Big Red. <laughs> and the truck is big and red. Yep. I think he's from Bugs Bunny, isn't he? Looks like Bugs Bunny. Yeah. 
think he's from from Bugs Bunny. Well, if you want Big Red, he's here, and uh, he's definitely big and red. Yeah, crazy. Here's a truck that Johnny Cash would be proud of, the Folsom State Prison 3100 Chevrolet. Look at that. Take a look at this Mustang. So they want 18,000, and it's got a really unique, uh, they call it, um, I was reading about it over here, a sporty spirit decor package. So it had like these very unique stripes, and this is all original. Of course, no paintwork has done because, probably because of this, this sporty package that it had. I think I've seen photos of these before, but I have never seen one in real life. And, uh, and she needs some work, but she's all there. And she is all there. They have like these badges on the back and uh, kind of like this red, white, and blue, this American like scheme. And so it has all of its original paperwork in the back seat, its original um, like window sticker. And it looks like this was a three thousand it was three thousand seven hundred and thirty six dollars brand new i had a 351 v8 motor in it it was built in dearborn and it's a 1972. pretty cool pretty cool now there's an old woody station wagon of course a surfboard and it's ready to surf take to the beach yeah you can lay it down and even camp out in the back right you can lay down a bed down in there take a look at this contraption it's it's yeah, too what the how do you know who's coming or going yeah yeah i mean i guess you can go both ways right yeah. <laughs> wow yeah so i guess they got you coming or go going right so what I'm, what I'm kind of guessing is that this has got the motor because the wheels are turned. Oh. This here is just the rear axle. Of course, they did cut two car, two trucks, and put them together, and they have like this. Um, yeah, you know I mean, so it kind of maybe twists a little bit. Wow, coming and going, right? Very unique. I have never seen this before. Uh, 1969 Roadrunner. I believe I saw this last year. It is really sharp. It's back again this year. A lot of these vehicles come here year after year. They want 59,500 and she is just in really good shape. She's got all her original decals. The interior in it just, just sparkles. What I really like is the engine is done perfectly. It's got that that Coyote duster um, air cleaner on top. Um, very, very good all around. It's got the, the air grabber hood up there. And you notice it's got the it's got the it's got the um, it's got the coyote on top. Beep beep. But uh, it's really cool. I actually I love this car. One of my favorite ones I see down here. It's shaping up to be a great rod run here in 2023. We're supposed to have good weather all week, so I imagine there'll be a, just a lot of folks in town. Uh, this is one of two rod runs they have each year. This is a spring, and then they have the one in the fall, which is in September. 
and uh, yeah, yeah, about 10% of the cars are here, which is quite a few. Yeah, there's already. a lot here. A uh, lot of 56, 55s, 56, 57 Chevys, a lot of Novas this year, a lot. Um, I've seen some new cars. I've seen a lot of cars that I've seen over the years. Uh, a lot of times the same folks come back year after year. Sometimes a car will even change ownership, but still comes back to Pigeon Forge year after year. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of fun. If you are coming to town and you're not going to be uh, participating in the rod run or you don't care about the rod run, uh, you might want to avoid Pigeon Forge. Um, you might find better scenarios maybe in Gatlinburg if you want to stay in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. But those are you know, a, lot, a lot of different things. But folks, folks, that's going to do it for today. It's a sneak peek, a first look into the 2023 Spring Rod Run. We're excited. We're going to be down here a few days this week. Don't know exactly what days yet. We're going to walk the whole strip from end to end. We'll show you what's going on. And yeah. Guys, stay tuned. We got Rod Run coming. We love you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you in the next video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.